Hi everyone, it's Megan here. So to celebrate 15 years of Celtic Woman Music, we have launched our new Q&A series on our YouTube channel called Music and Magic. And today I'm gonna answer some of your questions. And then at the end, I'm gonna pick my favorite question and send you a signed copy of the 15 year celebration calendar. Um, so let's get started. Question one is from Chloe Meadow Null and she said, what is your favorite charity to sing for and why? I would really love to work with Cancer Research one day. You know, it's a charity that's close to home. So I really hope I get to work with them in the future. Number two is, what do you think and what do you feel knowing that you really transmit magic to us with your music and your voice? And that's by Tito Toten. I hope I said that right. There's no better feeling than someone coming up to you and saying that, you know, your music has helped them through a hard time or, you know, your music has inspired them in some way you know that's very very special and something I'm very 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 grateful for so yeah it's a very amazing feeling number three is what is one of the best small things that you've experienced during your time with Celtic Woman something like a meal meeting a fan or a park you visited and that's by Ethan Larson I think one of my favorite nights on tour is the night that we decorate the bus for Christmas we put up lights and decorations and we watch a, um, a Christmas film and we drink hot chocolates um, and it's just such a lovely night. You know, being away from my family at the lead up to Christmas uh, is hard. So getting to celebrate with my friends is really, really lovely. And yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite nights. But, you know, I've only been in Celtic Woman for two years and I'm so lucky to be surrounded by incredible people on tour. So I have built up so many incredible memories, big and small throughout those two years. Um, and I'm very grateful for them. The next question is, who was your favourite singer growing up? And that's by Melissa Latessa. Uh, I think my favourite singer would have to be Eva Cassidy growing up. My mum used to play her music a lot in the house and I just adored her voice. So I listened to her all through growing up and even now I still love her. She's still one of my favourite singers. So definitely Eva Cassidy. The next question is, what role do you think music can play in helping heal and maintain health in the midst of a disability mental health disorder or chronic illness. And that's by Hannah Boone. I think music definitely has healing properties. You know, I think listening to a piece of music um, and the lyrics are lyrics that you can relate to. And it's almost like someone's going through the same thing that you're going through or feeling the same feelings that you're feeling and you feel less alone. And I think in that way, music really unites us. Um, and, you know, music has helped me through really difficult times. So music definitely definitely has healing properties the next question is what's your favorite fact about yourself that people are surprised to hear and that's by matthew portno that's a really good question i don't think i've ever been asked that question before um that's a really difficult one i think uh i don't know i love to knit i love knitting every christmas i knit christmas stockings or i try to this year i'm trying to knit christmas jumpers but uh, I've never done that before, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I love to swim, I love to read. Um, let's see, uh, I, I'm, I have a really big family. I'm the youngest of seven. Um, yeah, probably those would be the ones. Maybe the fact that I don't like chocolate as well. I know that's a bit of a weird one. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of chocolate. I'll eat a chocolate biscuit, but not a chocolate bar or anything like that. So that's probably a weird one. <laughs> the next one is, what type of vocal exercises or practices do you use to maintain your voice through the long tours? And that's by Christina Minger. I hope I said that right. Um, I'm lucky because um, I had a lot of training growing up. Um, I, I did classical training for, you know, 10 years plus. Um, and through that time, I got to um, learn a lot of exercises to keep my voice healthy. So before a show, I would just do my warm up, my exercises, and um, I would steam as well. Um, and then also, I when I first joined Celtic Woman, I saw Ava McMahon using a straw to do her warm ups. So uh, I started doing that, and I noticed it really, really helped um, just to keep my voice uh, healthy throughout a tour. So those would be my main ones, I think. The next question is. Uh, according to a certain redhead, I wonder who that is, uh, you are not only the queen of tea, but also the queen of busking. So my question is this, what genre of music was your favourite while busking? And that's by Douglas Danielson. I loved busking. I started busking um, when I went to college in London just to make money to get by. And uh, But I actually loved it. Um, I felt very free and I could just sing whatever I wanted to sing. And it was just a really fun experience. 
Um, and it also gave me a chance to sing music that I don't normally get the chance to sing. So I did a lot of pop, country, folk, all that kind of stuff, which was really cool. Um, but I loved singing kind of more current pop songs because I don't really get the chance to do that very often. So um, I really loved that. And the next question is, uh, how do you chat with the girls during the COVID-19? And that's by Hayley Scott. So we keep in contact most days uh, through WhatsApp, you know, just our group chats. And um, uh, so, and I actually got to see uh, Ava and Tara for the first time last week. I hadn't seen Ava since February and I hadn't seen Tara since um the, sh the tour got uh, shut down so it was really lovely to see them and to catch up um and then I got to see Mairead a couple of weeks ago as well which was really really lovely I also hadn't seen her since um we came home so it was just really nice to catch up you know last year we lived together for what was it like eight months on the road and then this year we barely got to see each other so I definitely missed them so it was really really nice to see them and the next question is, when you started singing and playing, did you have perfect pitch or did you have to acquire it? We would love, we love your music and so look forward to 2021 when hopefully the world will have left COVID-19 mostly in the rearview mirror. And that's by Joni in the Wild of West, uh, Joni in the Wild West of Wyoming. Um, so I definitely don't have perfect pitch. Uh, perfect pitch is when you can hear a note and know exactly what that note is without using any help, or uh, you can hear a piece of music and know what key it is without any help, which I definitely can't do. Uh, in college, I learned or tried to learn relative pitch um, through interval training and all that kind of stuff, but it's very, very difficult. Um, but no, I definitely don't have perfect pitch, but I try my best. Uh, the next question is, is there a particular piece of music or song that has helped you through some troubling times? And that's by Tim Nyap Ma Ming, sorry, and I hope I said that right. Um, uh, def, there's two that come to mind and it would be Over the Rainbow by Eva Cassidy and uh, Birds Set Free by Sia. I listen to those a lot during hard times and um, yeah, I love those two songs. So probably definitely those two. The next question is, tell me your top three greatest albums of all time. And that's by Ricky Massimi. Um, mine change all the time. But right now I'm listening to a lot of Harry Styles. I love his new album, Fine Line. I listen to a lot of Casey Musgraves. Um, and then I also, uh, I've been listening to a lot of Adele lately and I really love her album, 25. So probably those three at the moment, but they change all the time. Uh, the number... Let's see, 13 is, if you were to sing a Disney song of your choice for a new special, what would it be and why? And that's by Taylor Hudson. So the new Frozen film, if you go onto the soundtrack on Spotify or whatever, um, there's a bonus track by Casey Musgraves and she does a cover of All Is Found. Um, and I adore it, I absolutely love it. Um, so definitely that one, but anything Disney, I love Disney. So I'd be so happy to sing anything from Disney. The next question is, who is the prankster of the group? And that's by D Panda Bear. Let's see, I think everyone kind of has their moments, but I think the main person would be Tara, probably. She's pulled some really funny pranks. And then probably Ava as well. Um, Ava did uh, the scare cam every year. Um, so probably those two would be the main culprits. Uh, the next question is, and this is the last question. If you had any superpowers, what would they be and why? And that's by Julia Alexander. I thought, oh, that's a good question. I think I would love the power to heal someone and make them feel better. It'd be really cool. And also to fly. I would love, love to fly. I think that would be so cool. So probably those two. Uh, so those are all the questions I have today. And um, thank you so much to everyone who sent your, their, their questions in. I really appreciate it. I think my favorite question would be, the superpower one. I think that's really cool. So that's by Julia Alexander. So Julia, I'm going to send you this calendar in the mail and I hope you like it. But thank you everyone for sending in your questions and make sure to check out our YouTube page to see more Q&As coming up. And uh, I hopefully will see you all very, very soon. Okay, bye.